Disruptive technologies are technologies that literally disrupt a whole industry. And they're particularly important because in, in the situation where you have a disruptive technology or a disruptive business model, the incumbents in an industry tend to disappear or be significantly diminished. A good example might be the iPhone. So the iPhone was a technology that was developed by Apple and a business model that was introduced by Apple and it transformed the phone industry. And, and importantly, Apple weren't involved in the phone industry heretofore. There's a whole series of examples right through history of technologies coming in that upset the incumbents in an industry. And they typically are brought in by people who are and organizations that are completely outside the industry. And in that context, Bitcoin and the blockchain is potentially a very interesting example of a disruptive technology that could have an impact on a wide range of different industries. Bitcoin is a virtual currency for the internet solely, so there aren't actually coins in existence, but it is a technology that allows people to buy and sell stuff on the internet um, without recourse to banks or without recourse to a central authority. It is based on a computer algorithm or a series of algorithms uh, that is called the blockchain. And essentially the blockchain is a public record of all of the transactions that are associated with Bitcoin. Well, the research, I suppose, is maybe a bit different for a lot of academic research in that it's, it's quite speculative because the Bitcoin and the blockchain are only around for a few years, but they they offer the potential to radically transform the way a number of industries uh, are structured and the way in which uh, certain practices are, are done. So at the moment, we're particularly interested in the relationship between governments and virtual currencies and the effect that virtual currencies like Bitcoin and, and the likelihood is that we will end up with something that will replace Bitcoin. But what we're interested in is the way in which these cryptocurrencies affect government. Governments up to now have had the ownership of money and of the creation of money. With a system like this, the, the creation of money is taken away from governments and is taken away from banks. So it's very clear with, with the current debates about um, the, the monetary crisis in, in Europe and in Greece, that the creation of money is a very central part of the political process. With cryptocurrencies, the creation of money is taken away from governments and the state and banks. And that has significant implications for the power of the state and the relationship of the state with its citizens and society. Mm -hmm.